What's up guys, how are you all doing? For today's video we're going to test this vintage US Aqua pure drinking water in a can. So this is from 50s and 60s. Usually water stored in a can stores indefinite. Most of the time if it's stored properly it does not go bad. So this is why I assume on every can they did the slop test. As you can see every can has the same writing. We'll just need one can. So it says slop test. Hold one end of the can in the left hand loosely. Slop the top of the can with the right hand. When you get a slop knock, you can be sure the water is pure and portable. So I'm not really sure what kind of slop knock I'm supposed to hear. But you know what, I'm going to try it out, follow the direction and hopefully we will hear slop knock. And you guys be the judge if they sound that really good and then we'll open it up and see what's inside. So once again, hold one end of the can in the left hand loosely. Do I hold it like that or like this? I'm not really sure. And slap the top of the right hand. Oh, you hear it? That sound like... I can hear the knock. What about this can? I can definitely hear some kind of knock. Would it be normal knock? Is it a slop knock? When you get a slop knock, you can be sure water is pure and palatable. So. Let me know in comments below, does it sound like it's a slab knock? I don't know. I wouldn't tell. To me it sounds like it does has a slab knock. Slab knock. But I don't know. Let's just open it up and see what the water looks like. And then we're going to taste it. See if it's going to be fresh and pure. I got a glass in here so you guys can see. Because in the can you won't even be able to see it. And I'm gonna open it all the way too. So that way I wanna make sure that the can inside does not have any kind of rust or any kind of deformation or some kind of growth. Who knows, bacteria before I even taste, taste it. So far I see a little bit of water. It is very clear. Whoa, the water is super clear. I do not see any deformation in there. Check this out. You can't even see almost the water, it's so clear. Okay, let's pour it in. Seems to me very clear water after 50 years. What do you guys think? Some city water is probably worse than this anyways. I know if there is anything inside there or my glass was dirty. Let me wash off this glass and do this again. Okay, now all the dust is washed off. Let's try this again. Sounds like I do have this slop knock. Can you guys hear it? I don't know. That sounds like I barely hitting it. And it's the noise are coming from the inside. So this is must be good. You know what? Let's open up another one. Okay, this has gotta be very clean glass. I'm confident there should be no dust inside there. And you know what? It actually wasn't the glass dirty. This stuff, whatever it floats inside of the can, it actually came off from there. I don't know what it is, but something did get in into that water to where it's super, super dusty. So definitely, even though I had this lab test, I don't think this water is good anymore. I'm sure you could drink it, but I would not recommend. I don't know what those things are unless you test the water with the special chemicals to make sure it's drinkable. Again, maybe it's normal to have all this residue inside of the water after the purification, but for my liking, I kind of don't like it that it has so much pieces floating around inside of that water. Maybe it was like that packaged and unless I test the water and it says after the test it's okay to drink, I wouldn't drink it. You see those little dots? 
They can look clean, it's just whatever the source of water they had, I don't think it's been the best source. You see the stuff even floating in there? I don't know if you can see it, but there's little particles in there. It looks clean, it could be still good, but I wouldn't risk it, so I'm not going to taste test this water today. I was planning to do so, but I don't like all that there is. Do you see that blue thing floating around? I don't even know what that is. So once again, let's pour it in the glass. For a second there, I thought my glass was dirty. Nope, that water is just dirty. Look how much stuff is floating around. Oh well, maybe it just got old. But still, very cool, unique product. I never seen a survival drink in pure water with a slap test like that. Piece of history, that's for sure. Very unique, I like it a lot. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.